Welcome friends to another video. It's time for me to talk about one of my favorite houses and this is Sand Story. And I'm talking about the classic from this house, the one that uh, started the madness, called 24 Gold. A fragrance that first came to the market in 2010, created by Jordi Fernandez. This is the name of the perfumer. A very, very interesting fragrance. I love this house. I've owned uh, a lot of fragrances for them. And my favorite one still is 24 Platinum Elixir. That fragrance uh, simply drives me crazy every single time that I uh, wore it because I unfortunately sold it a couple of, uh, of weeks ago and I so much regret it right now because I cannot find it anywhere else to purchase it. But, well, it is what it is. Let's talk about the presentation of this uh, fragrance. I've seen a lot of people uh, saying that uh, the packaging is so amazing, so great. To be honest with you, this box is simply foggy, to say the least. It's so ugly, it's so uninspiring, therefore I see no reasoning to actually uh, insist on describing the cardboard box. And this is how the bottle looks, which in typical Sand Story presentation comes in this shape and form and uh, let's say very colorful, very shiny, but this time around in gold. Be very aware of this plastic cap because a couple of days ago I almost dropped my bottle because I uh, grabbed it from the cap and as you can see it's not a very secure fit. So be very aware about the cap. Don't grab it by the cap, grab it from, uh, from the body and uh, you won't have any issues. Let's talk about the composition, because uh, we are more interested in uh, the fragrance, not uh, the presentation. We have in the top notes, wood, gaia wood and jasmine. We have in the middle, sandalwood, anise and cedar. And in the base notes, we have ylang ylang, amber and vanilla. I'm gonna say something right from the beginning. It took me 10 years to purchase this fragrance, not because uh, I wasn't able before, uh, to acquire it, but mainly because I try to avoid the hype surrounding this fragrance. This is one of the most hyped fragrances in uh, fragrance history, especially on uh, YouTube, because it was present in every single video, in every single uh, list about winter fragrances, woody fragrances and um, cold weather fragrances and whatnot. And this fragrance is nothing that uh, can be compared to real oriental woody agarwood based fragrances because the wood inside this one it's minimal at least to my nose and on my skin the main accords for me in this fragrance are vanilla sandalwood and anise you get a huge dose of creamy gourmandy vanilla coupled with a very beautiful, woody, creamy sandalwood and with a very delicious anise. Which makes this fragrance one great fragrance for those of you who love gourmand scents. To me, this is a vanilla bump and I'm not exaggerating. It smells really great, it's very sweet but not overpowering it's that uh, good type of sweetness, the gourmand sweetness. It's uh, also very creamy with that beautiful um, woody note uh, um, given by the sandalwood. You also get the anise, which in this composition, with all the elements, but specifically with the vanilla and the sandalwood, gives you a somewhat of alcoholic vibe. It's, um, on my skin at least, in the transition between uh, the top notes and the heart notes, I get sort of a rum note inside this composition. The first couple of times that I've worn this fragrance, I also got that uh, famous raspberry accord that everybody is talking about every single time about uh, this fragrance. So for the first two or three times until the fragrance managed to uh, cope with my uh, skin chemistry, 
I also got that Raspberry Accord. Now I no longer get it. I just get, as I said, vanilla, 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 sandalwood, anise, and some woods in the back. I also get the florals. I do get a bit of jasmine and ylang ylang, especially in the heart of this fragrance, where the fragrance simply opens up a bit, becomes a bit floral, but still sweet, uh, gourmandy. But nonetheless, the main actor or the main accord is missing for me, and that's the wood note. The wood is present for me on my skin for a very, very short period of time, and this one generally lasts about 15 minutes, and it happens somewhere after 30 minutes after applying the fragrance on my skin. And that's it. Afterwards, I can only pick a small hint of agar wood somewhere in the heart, and also somewhere in the base, but it's very, very faint. It's almost untraceable. Therefore, for me, this is not, as compared to others, a woody fragrance. It's not a oriental woody fragrance. This is more of a oriental vanilla fragrance, just like, uh, I don't know, uh, Zafir Oud Vanille from Alexandre J, for example, because that's the best comparison that I can give you. Nonetheless, this is a really great scent for winter time. This is a really great scent for cold weather, for, uh, I don't know, uh, rainy days, for uh, snowy days. You can wear this one in winter, but you can also wear it in spring and in fall when it's um, cold outside. It does have great performance, at least on my skin. I get with this one, though I have to say that uh, compared to others' opinion, to me, it's a bit overrated in terms of performance because I usually get about 14 hours of longevity. This is what happens on me. 14 hours of longevity. Out of this, for the first three hours, I have really strong projection, followed by three hours of moderate projection and another about three hours of low projection. Overall, very good performance. Not what I was expecting and uh, for sure not on par with what I get, or especially what I got from 24 Platinum Elixir, which was a lot better than this one. The sillage is also very, very good on 24 Gold. It leaves a huge trail scent behind you, which is really, really nice to, to pick up in the air and um, to sense it. Overall, a very nice performing fragrance, very nice smelling, especially if you love gourmand fragrances, especially if you love vanilla-based fragrances. But to me, the most interesting note in this one is the anise. I highly appreciate how the anise comes out from this fragrance, how it manages to surprise me in the first place. Uh, and also, I love how the vanilla feels in this 24 Gold. If you have the opportunity to test it out, I highly encourage you to test it out on your skin to see how it smells, to see how it reacts to your skin's chem chemistry, and to see, of course, how it performs. How and when to wear this one, as I said, only for uh, cold weather specifically, but you can wear it dressed up the way that you like it. You can uh, wear it uh, casually, you can wear it uh, semi-formal, and you can actually wear this one to a formal outfit. So, quite versatile, quite flexible in my book in terms of how and when to wear 24 gold. This pretty much does it for this video, guys. This is a unisex scent, but uh, I don't have a problem in recommending this scent both to females and also to males. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Be good. Peace.